Thimphu, capital of the Kingdom of Bhutan, like other parts of the Himalayan country, was in a festive mood. By the morning of the 2nd of June 1999, thousands of Bhutanese had streamed into the capital to celebrate and pay homage to 25 years of the coronation of its monarch. The ceremony in the open air field in the heart of the capital on the 2nd of June included what has now taken on the stature of a national song. Bhutan had emerged as a single political entity with the arrival of Shadrung Nawang Namgyal in 1616. But the Wongchuk dynasty began with the coronation of Ugen Wongchuk as King of Bhutan in 1907. He was followed by King Jigmi Wongchuk in 1926 and then by Jigmi Dorji Wongchuk in 1952. Jigmi Singhe was the only son of the five children born to the late majesty King Jigme Dorji and his queen Ashi Choden. And although Jigme Singhe Wongchuk took over as monarch in 1972, his official coronation took place two years later. It was in the 8th century that with Padma Sambhava, now revered as Guru Rinpoche, that Mahayana Buddhism entered Bhutan. Padma Sambhava, legend claims, incorporated the local deities of the prevailing Bon or animist religion into this new magnificent spiritual philosophy. It is in the national sport of archery that a unique Bhutanese attitude to life can also be found. On the 1st of June 1999, the Kingdom of Bhutan began its journey on the information highway. On that day, Her Majesty Ashi Dorji inaugurated the country's first internet service. Bhutan, because in a short while we will connect Bhutan to internet, linking our country to information superhighway. In what could be seen by many as a determined effort to keep its traditional moorings intact, the inauguration was preceded by religious rituals. The next day, Bhutan Broadcasting Services began its maiden television telecast. We look at television as a powerful ally for positive change and development.